Hello. Today we are going to pack, or we'll harvest and pack, some spinach for our two chefs, Fallen Fodder and Element 112. In previous years I would come leaf by leaf, so I go a little bit like this and this, and that's just a waste of time for what we're doing here. We're gonna get one more cutting off this. My jerry rig. All right, so once we've harvested all the spinach out of the high tunnel, we'll take it into our greenhouse that is cold out right now, and we will dunk it in some nice cold water. And we're just trying to get a lot of that sandy grit off there. Then we'll dry it in another tote, and then we'll spin it dry. That's a massive salad spinner. We'll part pack it into a plastic bag into a cardboard box. And off she's going to go to the restaurants. It's so very ergonomic, isn't it? It is, yes. So the process for harvesting spinach in the high tunnel is usually bedding over um, the leg straight up and with a harvest knife, which is very bad on our, our backs and my, my thighs. I get, I get stressed my thighs out. Um, so what, I can, what I've concocted is a little wheelie cart, a little wheelie cart I can sit on so I can alternate my, my, uh, my stature so I can be sitting down for a little bit of time and be sitting up for the other part of the time. My chiropractor's gonna love it. I was gonna use it just to lay down, you know, but then that wasn't working, it wasn't high enough, so I sat backwards and I'm like, well, that's gonna work pretty cool. You're cutting this by hand? Yep. So like I said before, I usually use the salad cutter and cut and cut the entire thing, but there's some leaves that got hurt by the, by the frost. It just got too cold and I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't manage it as best I probably could, so I'm just trying to come and grab the best stuff by hand. This is going to, one chef is gonna make, um, I think he's gonna make spinach dip out of it. We plant our transplant our spinach in fall, from September. And over the course of the year, it gets nice and chilly willy and all those sugars come up into the leaves and the, and the stems and it tastes awesome. You sort of see this leaf, come here and look, see how, how limp, limp it is. Yeah. This is where it got too cold and just the freeze thaw just, just killed too many cells. Yep. But I'll eat you, it. You, I know you'll eat it, but then compared to a nice turgid leaf, see how that, that stands up nice? Yeah. Alright, so I'm here at drop number two for spinach run at element 112. Let's go see who's home. I see his car here. That's Nixon's car. Yeah. back door yeah I think he's here yeah right there right there he is right there's the, right there he is dude just getting a lot of that guy we're going live with you oh, buddy yeah? Yeah. We, got, oh, we got some fun stuff in there for him yeah oh heck yeah man that's pretty I want that on Tony's plate tomorrow dude tell me why you value our relationships with the chefs so much we deal with two places really know how farmers work. So it's a pleasure to work with people who know how the seasons ebb and flow, know how things don't always go the way as you planned, and that we're flexible with them as much as they are flexible with us. And they're really cool dudes. And gals. I score with Nixon. Woohoo! Sourdough bread for dinner! Roll them!